Welcome to the Lawless Astrology Channel. My name is Dabney and I'm an evolutionary astrologer. Today, what we're going to look at is the fact that on Christmas Eve, there is a Jupiter-Saturn square. It's the second in a series of four. And I'm going to be having a longer video, a little bit more detailed and a lot more information in an interview that I did with an astrologer named Suzanne Sanders that's going to come out right after Christmas. So on the 26th, I will be posting that video. But today, I just wanted to kind of give you a really basic breakdown because her on her breakdown is a little bit more intricate and advanced. And so this is a really basic understanding of Jupiter and Saturn and how they work together. Okay, so before I dive right into the Jupiter-Saturn square that's taking place today, I did want to tell you all that I am launching my very first course. I'm very excited. I've kind of been working feverishly to get it ready in time for New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. So this is a course called Revisioning Your Life. And what we're going to be looking at is where Capricorn has been transiting in your chart since 2008 where Aquarius will be, Pluto and Aquarius will be transiting in your chart, and where your north and south node are. So it's really kind of like an evolutionary astrology mini course to help you get to the root of what you're here to do in this lifetime and what are the lessons that are going to be coming up for you in the next few years. And so you can envision and revision a life for yourself that's aligned with your soul path. So if that sounds like something that you're kind of interested in, please look below in the description and I will also pin it in the comment section. And uh, I hope I see you there. Most of the course is uh, pre-recorded, but there is a lot of great information. There are a lot of downloads and then there's going to be two live sessions where we're going to do Q&A and we're going to talk about how... You are setting yourself up for 2025 and success in the new year. So, okay, on to the Jupiter-Saturn square. So Jupiter is about expansion. Jupiter is all about where we have luck, where we maybe go overboard sometimes. Jupiter is something that flows and can be easy. And it's just this very big energy. And everyone has Jupiter somewhere in their chart. But right now, Jupiter, right now in the sky is squaring Saturn. And Saturn is much more the planet of structures and restrictions. And sometimes it can be fears and places we are holding ourselves back. So in the sky right now, when these two do a dance, Jupiter really wants to tell Saturn to lighten up a little bit and have some fun. And Saturn wants to tell Jupiter to rein it in and maybe not go overboard so much. Both of them, when there's a hard angle, when there's a square, they're telling one another that they need to look at their shadow. So Saturn is asking Jupiter to examine its shadow. And the shadow of Jupiter is um, going too far, not believing that there will be any consequences for your actions. Uh, It can be kind of Dionysus energy where you're just debauchery and, you know, partying too hard and and just, you know, thinking that you are invincible and untouchable. And so Saturn comes in and says, no, there's actually consequences for that kind of behavior. And so what did we have yesterday was we had the Matt Gates report released. And so it really Saturn was really saying, hey, it's not okay to, you know, pay underage girls for sex. So that was, um, that was something else, right? Right before Christmas. Um, Merry Christmas. Uh, but the interesting thing I think was it really is a good example of Saturn Jupiter square. So Saturn saying you need to rein it in you, there are consequences. Now we also have Jupiter squaring Saturn and the shadow of Saturn is, having too many restrictions, holding on to the past, clinging to things that no longer are working, not learning lessons about expansion and the future, and really just wanting to being stubborn about doing things a certain way, letting fear hold you back. These are kind of some Saturnian things, almost like being stuck in um, stasis, 
right? And also Saturn is the elder. So what did we also have? We have Nancy Pelosi who broke her hip, but in the meantime, she's blocking AOC from taking a leadership role and telling everyone to vote for a 74-year-old with cancer. So that's very much Jupiter telling Saturn, hey, that's your shadow. You need to really kind of understand that the future is here. You've got to let go of the reins a little bit. You've got to let go of the control. That's part of the positive elder statesman. That's part of a positive Saturn expression is knowing when change is important and taking that in stride. So I just wanted to give those kind of two little political, um, um, you know, each side is is kind of expressing some of the shadow. And we see this in both uh, in our world everywhere that we and in our lives, too, where we have some of the Saturn shadow, we have some of the Jupiter shadow. And that's what's being called on us right now is to kind of integrate those two energies. And that's part of why I was sort of pushing to get my course done, because I want to expand. I want to reach more people. I want to go on this journey with you. But it takes hard work. It takes structure. It takes, you know, working the path, you know, burning the midnight oil. So that's, I think, a healthy expression for everybody to think about these two energies in your own personal life. Like, where do you go overboard? Where do you not think about the consequences? When do you not think about the future and you just go and you just trust that it's all going to work out okay, but then sometimes it doesn't? And where do you sometimes in your own life maybe get stuck and you're afraid to take a risk or you're afraid to believe that the universe has your back and you just kind of do the same thing over and over again and then you get depressed and you feel like no one is really on your side. That can be very Saturn as well. Okay, so it's Christmas Eve and my in-laws came in. And so anyway, Merry Christmas, everyone that celebrates this. And if you're interested in my course, check it out. There is a reason and a season for it all. Sorry for the slightly unprofessional ending to my video, but universe conspiring. Have a good one.